I am obsessed right now. Stay sick because I follow my gut. They say I was pushing my luck. No, I'ma push me on all black. Hey girl, what's up? And welcome to another video. Honestly, I hate saying that, so I think I'm just gonna stop. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just something about doing that whole introductory thing that just gives me anxiety. So I think I'm just gonna start talking from now on. So yeah, girl, we're getting into a springtime summertime look basically a no makeup makeup look but with a twist because we're going to be doing underpainting i feel like the underpainting technique is just so bomb for the summertime because you don't want to wear a full face of makeup so we're just going to focus on coverage but less is more for this routine and underpainting i am also going to be reviewing the i don't even know if i'm saying this right kahir wise kahir wise or kahir wise this is a company from the UK, if I'm not mistaken. I believe I had to order this from the UK. But I saw Arnell use it, and I really loved her finish. So I wanted to try it out for myself. It is a beautiful tint. So it's a skin tint. It's not a foundation, which works perfect for the underpainting technique because the underpainting technique is basically concealing and contouring underneath your foundation or your tinted moisturizer. And again, we're going for less is more, so this is perfect for that. Also, how are we feeling my background? I changed it. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I do have a different background now. I'm so happy about that because I was so freaking, what is it called? I don't know, I just, Ever since I've started YouTube, I've always been very insecure about my backgrounds and if you guys would receive them well, but I recently put up some new floating shelves and I love them. They're not decorated just yet. I'm going for more of a japan -y look. I try to show a lot of that content in my vlogs, so if you guys are into the whole home lifestyle decor organization type of thing, then you'll get a lot of that, especially a lot of cooking in my vlogs. But you know what? That's not where you guys are here. So. <laughs> Let me get into the first step that we're going to do. We're actually going to put on some eyelashes and I wanted to show you guys this. I was going to do this off camera, but I was like, no, I'm going to put the girls on because I don't know if you know. L curl lashes are like in right now. That whole fox eye effect, like, and it looks so cute. Like I'm not doing it just because it's a trend. I'm doing it also because like I love this look. I think that it complements my eye shape. And so because you guys know I don't do semi-permanent eyelashes, I did find some lashes on Amazon and they were like $8 a piece. I couldn't decide which ones I would like. Again, all of it's L curl. These are a little bit more wispy. I already cut the lashes up. I like to use a strip lash and then cut them up in pieces and then apply them in the bond of choice. Today is going to be the Falscara. I just picked this up. I've been using Lashify's bond, but I've been hearing good things about the Falscara and I want to use that too. Because I want to see like if, it, if I could really save a point. Because the last five glue is like 20 bucks. This was 10. So let's go. And it comes with a seal. The last of five glue does not come with a seal. So this is how they look side by side. I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to tell the difference. But there is a slight difference. The white tray is more wispy and this is a little bit less wispy. This one gives more of a cat eye effect. And this one gives less of a cat eye effect. So yeah, I am using the pink tray. I could see myself using either or honestly, just depending on the makeup look, but I just wanted you guys to know. I'm gonna link them down in the description box if I do end up liking these. I just had to see if I could get that L curl look without, you know, spinning a coin. Not the worst, not the greatest, I don't know. I feel like I might have to <laughs> wait until my entire face is done to really see how I feel about these lashes. But then again, I don't know, let me take a break and go in my bathroom real quick, cause I'm gonna show my face. So, I haven't decided if I like the lashes just yet. They are giving me very tight eye, and because I have hooded lids, it's it's either gorgeous or it's not. We're gonna figure it out towards the end of this video, and I'll tell you guys how I feel about them. So for primer, we're gonna be using the Elf Hydro Grip. No, not Elf Hydro Grip. The Elf Power Grip Primer with the Niacinamide in it. This is my first time using this primer, but I heard that it's very similar to the Milk Hydro Grip, and you guys know that I love that primer. Yeah, absolutely. I'm already putting this on my face, and I feel like this is about to, honestly, might even be better. This is already feeling extremely tacky, and we like that. I don't even know if I should have went in with both my hands like that. Yeah, this is madly tacky. It's a lot stickier than the Hydro Grip. I feel like when you apply the Hydro Grip, it feels like gel and then gets tacky on your skin versus this power grip 
Oh baby, it's it's sticky. It's sticky, okay? It's sticky. Anything that stick to that, yeah, you good. So I'm now going to go in with my color corrector. I'm not going to talk about this too much. Just know that I am color correcting. And if you really want to know what products I use to color correct, let me know. I'll go ahead and place them down below. But I feel like I talk about that so much on my channel that you guys are probably bored of it. So I won't mention them today. In terms of underpainting, you want to make sure that you use a concealer that is medium to full coverage as opposed to a light coverage concealer and i would say the same also for your contour so i'm going to be using the nars cream bronzer in laguna this is dirty don't judge um but this is my girl for my cool tone contour for the concealer i'm going to be using the radiant creamy concealer a little hydrating but also great coverage in the shade praline I am also most likely going to go in with the Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Caramel because I do feel like praline might be a little bit too much, but we'll see. So if you didn't know, underpainting is basically concealing and contouring your face underneath your foundation. I feel like I said that in the beginning of the video, but now you are actually seeing what that means in real life. So we will not be using that much to conceal or cover our face, so we need to make sure that we are concealing in all the areas that make sense or matter to us. And for me, that is my rosy cheeks or my rosy under eyes and a little bit of my cheeks and anywhere really that I am red, I'm gonna conceal those areas. So I'm actually gonna start blending out my contour first and I'm using the Patrick Ta brush While I'm blending this out, I just want to talk to y'all. So I've been watching this show. Um, it's called Next in Fashion. It's on Netflix, right? Y'all, it is such a good show. And I really don't want to spoil things. So if you haven't watched this, while all I'm going to do for this next part of the video is just really just blend out my contour. So feel free to skip over this part. I've like literally sat and binged the entire, <laughs> entire new season season two of next in fashion and i'm really sorry if you guys can hear my dog snoring but clearly he had other plans for today long story short i did finish watching the whole thing i binged the entire season and i freaking loved it and i'm so happy with who they chose as the winner i feel like sometimes i'll watch like fashion shows like that and i will not agree with who they choose as the winner but like i feel like they were really true to the mission here and the mission was you know who's going to be next in fashion and no lie nigel is going to be next in fashion period like i'm literally over here like yo when is when can i when and where can i buy this guy's clothes because i love fashion and i love people who just push the lines or push the limits Sometimes when it comes to fashion and I loved him all season. I feel like every look that he gave, except for the one where like the transforming one, I really didn't like what it transformed into. I liked like the one before the transformation, but um, every look just gave to me. Like every look I was like, even if you don't win, like your girl needs the, the deets. Like please tell me where and how I can stay in contact because everything that you have right now it's giving by the way my sponge is not damp and that's only because i need as much coverage as possible but tell me what you guys think was there anybody on this show that you feel like you really liked i also really like desiree she was really dope i honestly just like all the designers where their niche was menswear because i just feel like that is just so fresh i could see offset wearing desiree or definitely nigel's clothes like it was it was it and say what you want about offset but the man got style okay i'm not gonna take that from nobody if you can dress i'm gonna give you a prop i don't even gotta like you but i'm gonna give you a prop and i just love watching fashion shows so anyway i'm gonna stop talking about that now just in case you skipped along to this part and you actually want to see the makeup um and you didn't come here for me to talk 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 so now that we have the concealer blended i'm actually going to go in with the caramel the instant age rewind and caramel underneath here just to dim this down because i do want it to be natural 
The cool thing about the underpainting technique is that you honestly could continue to contour more. It's really up to you. I will say that this primer though, this primer is doing what it needs to do. Okay, it is doing what it needs to do. This primer, not this primer, but this primer is doing what it needs to do. So happy that homegirl at Ulta told me to pick that up. Like, shout out to you. Like, low key, I might go back and ask if you wanna go out for drinks because you put your girl on. Next, we're gonna go in with the tinted moisturizer that I told you guys about. Towards the end of this video, I'm gonna give you guys a review on it. I also step outside so you guys can see how this tinted moisturizer looks on our skin. I got the shade D2. I actually already tried wearing this and I will tell you this is very, very pigmented. So am I gonna go on with a lot on my face? No, I'm not, absolutely not. So you guys are seeing how that's kind of blending over it. Again, using the underpainting technique, you're going to want to place the foundation over your contour. I am putting the tinted moisturizer on this brush. Like I'm not putting it on my face first. I did that the other day and I just felt like it was, I don't know, mad pigmented. This was the closest one to my skin tone. So I think that it will be perfect in the summertime for sure. Okay, now I'm gonna take the end of my beauty blender and just blend out anything I feel like is not quite cohesive here. I will say that I am feeling very moisturized, so that's a plus. It definitely does provide a good layer of hydration to the face. So far, so good. The power grip definitely helped. The first time I applied this to my face, it was very slippery, which, you know, it's a moisturizer, so you kind of expect that. Not quite an exact match, I feel. Or maybe it is, I don't know. What do you guys feel? And I do like that it did dim down my concealer. So I'm a fan. This is giving very, very natural, very, very makeup, no makeup look. So right now I'm really feeling this. I'm kind of digging this look, y'all. I'm, I'm feeling, feeling very dewy, but I'm also feeling very, very polished, very like skin, you know? I see why Arnell likes this moisturizer. I am obsessed right now. Let me not even trip. I'm kind of obsessed. So I'm actually gonna go over my eyelids because I feel like they're a little greasy for me. I like using the True Match Super Blendable Powder in Neutral um, N7. I'm just gonna take this Real Techniques buffing brush. I just got these. I really don't know if I like these to be honest with you guys. Dap it on the top of my eyelids. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm just like fangirling over the fact that my face really looks super hydrated and it really looks like skin. Like I literally look like I woke up like this. Minus you know, maybe my eyelashes being a little bit dramatic right now, but I really feel like you honestly couldn't tell me that I didn't just throw on some moisturizer and some sunscreen. I'm shook. Typically by this point in my makeup, I want to spray a, like a setting spray and I don't feel that way. I feel very hydrated. This is like a heavy moisturizer, but it just happens to be tinted. Do you understand? It's good stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and set underneath my eyes with a little bit of powder because I don't want it to crease, not too much. Keep it a buck with you guys. Like, underneath my eyes do crease from time to time. That's only because my eyes, like underneath my eyes naturally creases and that just is what it is. There's nothing that I can do about that genetically. I just have folds underneath my eyes, okay? I will crease here, okay? It won't crease here, but underneath, like literally underneath my eyes, oh, I'm gonna crease a little bit. It won't be like noticeable, but it won't be non-existent i guess is what i'm trying to tell you guys so if you have creasing underneath your eyes do not don't don't be hard on yourself about it i like using a brush to apply powder on my makeup no makeup days as opposed to using like the powder puff because i feel like the powder puff definitely gives i put on makeup that day versus the brush you can just get away with a little bit next i'm gonna go in with a bronzer you honestly don't have to this could be your no makeup makeup look you can stop right here if you wanted to but we're gonna go further because I always go further. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced bronzer and Sun Bunny, just a little bit. Our last step is this Milani Make It Last Matte Finish Charcoal Setting Spray for 16 hour wear. This is what's going to make the makeup last, this dewy look, last all day. This is gonna tone down the dewiness of this, but you know like I know, when it's summertime, springtime, whatever, it gets hot outside, but you're gonna start sweating. That's just the nature of things, right? You're gonna start to notice that you are 
a little wet in areas that you really prefer not to be. Your face, why'd you go there? Get your mind out the gutter. All that to say, you want to have something that's going to counteract all that dewiness. I feel like that's the trick to dewy makeup. Can you use this, by the way, the mattifying spray? Please use it at a distance because I don't know what it is about this one that I picked up. And let me know if you guys are going through this as well. How do I say this and not turn you off from using this? Because I do like it, okay? But it has been putting like little black spots. That's probably the charcoal that I need to like go on with my beauty blender and just like dab into my skin, which is fine. I don't mind doing that. I guess I just want you guys to be aware that it will do that. And if it happens, just tap it into your skin. All right, guys. And this is my makeup, no makeup look using the underpainting technique and using the new Kahir. I don't know how to say this girl sign name gum even, but whatever, you get the point. This tinted moisturizer. As far as my review on this tinted moisturizer goes, I would say that it is very pigmented and I would also say that it's very moisturizing. I would definitely still use a very tacky primer with this tinted moisturizer because again, I did try this without a tacky primer underneath and I did not like how it held up on my face. I do feel as though my face feels very light. It feels very moisturized. It feels very hydrated. And I didn't even honestly do a lot of skin prep prior to this. If I'm keeping it a buck, I mean, get into the skin. It's definitely giving perfect flawless skin as if I really did just wake up like this and I just take care of my skin. <laughs> like nobody's business you honestly couldn't tell that i have blemishes on my chin as well as on my cheeks um i won't even say blemishes i'll say dark marks because i definitely have dark marks underneath my skin you guys saw how i looked at the beginning of this video okay so really quickly i wanted to show you guys how this looks in natural lighting um have the sun behind you guys and no studio lighting this is just the finish of the makeup and the moisturizer i'm going to get really close and up and personal with you guys so you guys can see the finish So yeah, mm -hmm. as far as how I feel overall about the care wise, it is definitely going to be my go-to tinted moisturizer for the rest of spring and summer. I have tried many other tinted moisturizers and I will say this is probably my favorite because I feel like it's the closest to my skin tone. Um, especially once I get my tan, I feel like it's going to be even more of what I was needing out of a tinted moisturizer because I've tried the NARS tinted moisturizers and you guys know how much I love NARS. Like if I'm telling you that I would like this one more than the NARS tinted moisturizers, then I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a fan because I'm a NARS girl through and through. <laughs> like I'm not even going to, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, clearly I did use the NARS creamy radiant concealer and I do feel like it provided all the coverage that I needed. But as far as tinted moisturizer, this formula is one that I can stand behind and truthfully wholeheartedly recommend for my dry skin girls as far as these lashes go i don't know i think in person they look a lot better i did add an inner flick on the inner eyes to kind of accentuate the lash i do feel as though they're very very dramatic and they're definitely they're definitely giving me tie eyes but i do like them overall so i'm gonna go ahead and link them down below wait a minute i didn't even do my lip okay so for lips we're gonna just throw on a quick little gloss I have some chapstick on. I just realized I didn't do my lip, but that's how you know that the makeup, no makeup look is working for you because you didn't even think to throw on a lip. I'm just gonna use my Fenty Balm. Child was about to catch me slipping. How was gonna forget to do the lip before the end of the video? Anyway, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Love you guys.